Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to finish up our entire saga for bin number two. So, in the prior videos that I've shot, we separated this out into two bins. One half of bin two was added to a big mortar tray and spread out, and I eventually sprayed the middle with some water to kind of get the worms to congregate in that area so I could try to remove them. The material dried out pretty well, but it was a little bit like kind of granular and chunky, which isn't what I want, but it did work. The other bin, I had taken half of that, which I left in that bin, and added half of my bin number one, which had great looking material, and in the process, it all became good looking material. So that worked a lot better. Now, it's been a couple, it's been about a week, I guess, since I last updated, and it's time to really start harvesting these worms out, go, you know, we're gonna take them out by hand, uh, some of them, and some of them are gonna go through the sorting machine, and we're gonna get these ready for another system that I have set up and ready to go. So with that, let's dive into bin number one, or bin number two, sorry, with the mortar tray, and take a look at that. I think we're gonna remove the, the worms by hand in this one, and then for the next one, we'll actually send it through the sorting machine, because this is a lot less material, and it dried out a lot more, and that way you can kind of see how it looks in there. And we'll take a look at the other bin before we send it through the sorter, but I think that one looks good enough where we can just kind of dump it on and go. So with that, let's take a look at the mortar tray. All right, as you can see here, this system is already starting to dry out even a little bit more. Um, we have our little cloth here on the side. This is completely dried out. You can hear it. Those are kind of sounding a little bit rough. What we're going to do now is we're just going to kind of scrape this away. This is almost a light sort method really for this one right now. So we're just going to kind of scrape this top layer away, which is a little bit too dry. I'm still going to add this to my compost system. It'll, or my storage system for my compost. It's going to dry out, uh, or I'm sorry, get moist in there and it's going to get better. But this is uh, one way you can dry this system out. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to scrape away this outside. We're going to just slowly kind of scrape away this top, let the worms dig down. As you can see, we've got loads of worms here, it looks like in the center section. Actually, let's just scrape this like this and just take a look here. Look at that. You can really see them there. I don't know if that's focusing or not. Let's just see if we can get this to focus here. There we go. So you can see these are really, really in here well. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just put these off into the side into another system right here. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna take a look here on this bottom section and see how, how many worms are in here. I'm fine with getting some of this material into this new system. I don't know why this won't focus right, but um, so you can see there's just a lot of worms in here, but they are all in that center section where I added water. I'm trying to be very careful when I scrape here so I don't scrape them, uh, you know, just completely decimate them along the side here. But I'm just gonna keep adding these all to this bin over here. This didn't have nearly as much material as the other system had, but you could tell this, this center section looks really nice and fluffy. I mean, it does, this, this material looks pretty good. I think we got most of the worms out of here. This is just gonna go right back into my, uh, my system, my, uh, my storage system, and that's it for this. We're not gonna do any more filtering on this. This is, this is done. It's a little, as I said, it's, this is too granular. I really, I think, prefer the way that the other system came out. This is a good test. And a good way to show you the differences though. All right, so here's bin number two. It's the eighth, uh, was I guess my last update. I think I updated the date and today's the 17th. So not quite 10 days, but first off, no moisture on the top. Ooh, we got a little spider crawling along there though. I don't know where he went now. He's in the lid though, that's okay. And in here you can see, I've got this Amazon Prime thing. Let me take that out so it'll maybe adjust to the lighting in there. So we're gonna put that all off to the side because we're gonna we're gonna sort this in a different way. We're gonna put this through the sorting machine, but I just want to show you how this material looks in here. It's starting to thicken up a little bit, but it's still pretty good chunks. Lots of worms in here. They look nice and healthy. I mean, you can see. We're just gonna mix this up, get this ready to go through. I don't want it to be to be stuck in the corners or anything like that, if possible. I do have another system ready to go. And this is a surprise system that you guys uh, might be happy about, but you're gonna have to wait till my next video to see it. So, special system that I set up because uh, we were doing testing and hey, we wanna keep doing testing, right? 
So you can see this material looks great. It's a little sticky maybe, maybe, uh, but it's not too bad. I mean, it still just flakes right off the gloves when I compresses, but it still flakes apart. Worms, they look good, but it's time to sort this material. So we're going to put this through the sorting machine. That's going to drop out some of these bigger chunks, hopefully. Hopefully a lot of it will go through. Um, if you saw my last video, I upgraded it with a vibration motor instead of the, the system that I had before, which was a, uh, a Sawzall. And we're going to go from there. So let's go and set that up and let's start the process of sorting this material and be done with our bin number two system. So let's head over to the sorter. So I just want to mention here, if you see a flash in the right hand corner over here, that is, um, I guess it's left on your side maybe, but uh, that is the flash from a strobe that is doing a time lapse video. That is not from my electronics down here. I know some people have said in my last uh, video when I was updating, they're like, there's, there's a flash on your side. And it, it, it's okay, it's meant to be there. If you see something on the floor which you can't see really, that's where there's a problem. But over there, that is from a camera, that is a strobe going off, it's perfectly fine. And the time lapse that I'm doing is actually moldy bread to see how well it can, the worms will work through that. So we'll see how that goes. Right now we're only a couple days in, but we'll see how it does. So with that, let's start sorting.
All right, so I have to say here, this is my second time using this vibration motor. I don't know how well it's working really. I'm just gonna pull the camera out here, so sorry for the camera shake here. And compared to my, uh, I mean, you can see there's a ton of worms on there. They're not moving a whole lot. It feels like this is a lot rougher on them than it was before. I found that they were moving a lot more freely um, after I used my reciprocating saw, but you can see how many worms. I mean, I, I just don't think this is working quite as well as I expected. I don't know. I mean, I turned it up. I turned it down. I just think that this uh, the shaking motion of a back and forth, con consistent back and forth motion where everything moves one way um, down, the, down the chute is a little bit better than this. So I might have to figure out something else. I might have to return this uh, motor. It's just not working the way I expected. But, you know, it was worth a try. And this is the second time that I've tried, or third time I actually tried it once with the cameras off to make sure that it was, uh, to see if I could play around with it a little bit. But I just think that this is not working as 100% as well as I expected. So we'll see. But right now I'm going to pick up all these worms. We're going to continue to go back with that. I might have to, there's a lot that came out on this end over here. Um, a lot more than expected. So I'm not sure about that either. I might have to just, uh, I might have to do a different type of sort on this until I can figure this out. Um, I was really hoping that this would work, but they're really getting caught in these right here. And they're, they're doing, I mean, they're, they're alive, but this is a lot of worms right here, and it's too much stuff in here. Um, not enough going through the, uh, through the, the screening process. It's not shaking it enough or, or getting it to go through. There's not enough force on that. So anyhow, we'll come back to this. I'm going to get these worms sorted. But um, so far, let me just show you the castings out of here. So we had this many castings come through. This is actually a really small pile um, compared to the first time I ran through here. So I'm kind of disappointed with that a little bit. But uh, as I said, I'm just not sure if it's the, uh, the sorting machine or if it's something else that's causing that issue. But uh, we'll see here. We'll have to play around with this and figure it out. But I think that uh, I think I will... I think I will be returning this vibration motor. I just don't think it works well enough. We'll have to try something else to, to really get these worms uh, moving here. So, all right, with that, I think I'm going to be done still with bin number two, and I, I'm going to use these worms in a new system. I'm probably going to try to sort this out a little bit differently, and we'll continue from there. But thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, I know that this was not a resoundingly positive finish with uh, this many worms on the tray and that much casting which are well composted I don't need that many castings in the tray so I know that this was not a great finish but still I don't want to drag this on any longer than I have to so we're going to end this right here and then I will come back hopefully tomorrow with another video with a new system that I'm setting up which I think you guys will be excited about so stay tuned and tune in tomorrow for the new video thank you